In this Yacht Talk, we're going to take a look at uh, data analysis for the Dobenmeyer frame activities that we've done, either in the classroom or out at the uh, first site. So let's jump right to it and see what, uh, see what we're going to do. And I have a sample of data that was collected uh, out in the field. This wasn't really collected in the field, so uh, these numbers probably don't re reflect uh, what some of you saw out in your own uh, plots. But um, it does show us the seven different groups that we used out at first. Uh, so we used bare soil, litter, Johnson grass, uh, Cerecia lespedeza, other grasses, other forbs, and other woody vegetation. So if you recall, um, the one kind of important thing here is that um, with, the, with the numbers that you see for each of these, those correspond to the cover classes that we have over here. So if you remember, you were trying to estimate uh, the, the amount of cover that your frame, the amount of coverage of your frame that each of those uh, types of vegetation or the bare soil, the litter, um, was covering in the frame. So we worked on that quite a bit. And um, so now let's see how that we can use that information that we collected out in the field. Um, how can we use that to give us some meaningful information that we can use for making decisions okay, about our management of the area. So the first thing that we're going to look at is canopy cover. I have the steps that we're going to follow. I'm going to give you some examples here in a second, so I'm not going to spend too much time going through all of this. Um, but here we can see that we have to tally up um, all of the frames that had um, some of the um, you know, species present, so categorized by the cover classes. So we're going to uh, tally those up, and then we're going to take the value uh, from our tallying, and we're going to multiply that by the midpoint of the appropriate cover class. So it kind of gives us the average for that particular cover um, coverage. Uh, then we're going to add up all the products. So we're going to total all those products together. And then um, we're going to divide that by the sum of the quadrats. So the total number of quadrats that were used. And if you remember, um, each of us used seven. Now, there was one group that was working with the uh, demonstration plots, and if you were working with the demonstration plots, then you had six in your uh, in yours. So just remember to, to keep track of that uh, whenever you're actually doing the calculations for your plots. But for our example, we'll use seven. And then uh, from that, you get the percent cover class, I uh, mean the percent coverage for that particular species or the bare soil or the litter. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to our example. And so here we go. This is the uh, first one here, so I'm going step by step. Um, we're going to take a look at, just to make it kind of easy, we're going to look at um, bare soil to begin with. And so this column right here has all the stuff for the bare soil, okay? And then I threw in one other example, which is our other woody vegetation down here at the bottom. And so that's this column over here. Now, obviously, the other woody vegetation, there's not too much there. And so that one's pretty pretty easy to do. Okay, so um, remember you go through and you tally up the first thing for the bare soil. We go through and we tally up the number of ones that we had, the cover class one. And so I see that I have one, two, three. And so I write in that three. Okay, then I look and I see how many twos do I have? I have one, two, so I put in the two. How many threes? I have one, three, so I put in the one there. Um, I have one, four, and I had no fives, so I didn't put anything there. And then I had um, one, six, and so I put that there. Okay, the next step um, in the previous slide was to multiply. So now we need to multiply whatever our number is. We need to multiply that by the midpoint. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be 3.2. I mean, 3, sorry. It's going to be 3 um, times 2.5. And that's going to give us 7.5. So that's our, that's our product that we get. So this product column is the number uh, that you had for each uh, cover class category, and you multiply the midpoint of the cover class. So that's the midpoint between 1 and 5. It's 2.5. 5 and 25 is 15, and then you can continue it down. Okay? And so, uh, you know, 1 times 15 is 15. Uh, 1 times 37.5 is 37.5, and then on down. And then the next step is that you are supposed to sum all of those up. So we add 7.5 to 15 plus 37.5 plus 62.5 plus 97.5, and we end up with the total canopy, which is 220. Now, for the other woody species over here, um, that's a lot easier because we only had one frame way over here that had anything, and it was a cover class one. So we only have one one here. 
And then we multiply that by the 2.5. So we get our product is 2.5. We sum them all up. There's nothing else there. So we end up with a total canopy of 2.5. Okay. All right. So uh, the next thing we need to do to figure out our percent canopy cover is we um, take the number of samples that we have, the total number of samples, which is seven. So these are all seven. So all of these across here, um, these are all going to be sevens all across, all across here. Okay. Now, what happened to my pen? Hello? There's my fan that recovered. Okay. So it's going to be sevens all across here. So anyway, um, how we go about calculating that is real simple. It's 220 divided by seven. And when I punch that into my calculator, I get maybe. There we go. No, maybe. Come on. There we go. Well, I'm doing my best here. I get 31 um, point four maybe there we go 31.4 and so i round that to 31 just to make it fit in there nicely and then uh, same thing 2.5 divided by 7 uh, gives me 0 0.3 something i can't remember what it was on my calculator but it rounded up um, to 0 0.4 so i got my 0 0.4 so now what i'd like you to do is just take a moment um, to go through and tally up uh, the cover classes that you had for all the other species here that we had uh, then do the product, okay, the multiplying the cover class times the midpoint, and then add those up and get the total canopies for each, um, divide those by seven, all those by seven, and get the percent canopy cover for all of those. Okay, so pause this for a little bit, and uh, then we'll move on. Okay, so pause, calculate, get your answers. Okay, so I'm moving on right now. So, hey, move too far. So here's, here's the... Uh, the, the total canopies for all of them. Okay, so here's the total canopies for everything across here. All right, and so then we're going to divide each of these by seven, and then you end up with the percent canopy cover. So that's the important information that we're looking for is um, this stuff down here, the percent canopy cover. All right, so now um, that you have that, let's go ahead and take a look at frequency. So hopefully I don't jump too far ahead on this one now. It's all gonna go here. Okay, so now we're um, <laughs> gonna take a look at frequency, maybe. Come on, mouse, let's get going here. There we go, that too far, there we go, frequency. So frequency is just um, how many of your frames, how many of your seven frames had um, some of that particular uh, species in it, or the bare soil or the litter. And so this one is real, real easy to, to work with. If I can get my, I don't know why this is acting up. Okay, so um, for the bare soil, let's just like take a look at this one. For the bare soil, um, if I go through three frames, three of my seven frames had category one, and then one of my seven had two, I mean had category two, one of my seven had category three, one of my seven had category four, and one of my seven had category six. Now, if I add up all of my frames that were represented here, I get three plus one plus one plus one plus one, which is seven. So that means all of my frames had some bare soil in it. So down here, I just took a little space, and I just wrote seven over seven. So that means seven out of my seven frames had bare soil, and so that gave me 100% frequency. So I, I expect to find bare soil in any of my plots any of the time uh, when I'm out there. And then the other woody vegetation, I had one uh, frame that had cover class one. Okay, so that was just one out of seven. And so only one out of seven of my frames had other woody vegetation. So that gave one out of seven on my calculator, it gives me 14.3%. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is go through and tally up the rest of these, figure out how many out of seven. This is a real easy calculation. So the maximum you should have is 100, and if there's nothing there, then you have zero, right? So it should be somewhere between there, okay? So once again, I'm gonna pause for just a second, or you should pause for a second, and then uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the answers for all of the frequency, okay? All right. Okay, so um, here's the frequencies um, that we had for all of our different categories. And so you can see that litter 
Uh, one plus four plus one gives me six out of seven. So I had six out of seven. Johnson grass was everywhere, seven out of seven. Um, Sericea was um, four out of the seven plots. The other grasses, we had other grasses present in all seven, so seven out of seven. And same thing for other forbs, um, we had seven out of seven. And so you can see the different percentages there, okay? All right, so let's move on to our next and last uh, calculation here, which is the species composition. And for species composition, um, this is where you're taking the total canopy cover and you're dividing that by the total amount of canopy that we had, okay, for all of the species that are present. And then we put down our, um, our percentages that we have. So uh, this just allows us, like I have here, it just allows us to compare the vegetation communities at various locations within the same um, ecological sites. So now we can start making some comparisons uh, between some of our plots using some of this uh, species composition stuff here, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at an example. And so um, the way that we do this is first we have to total up, we have to total up our uh, total canopy. We have to get a grand total for all this. So you can see, um, what did I do here? I put plus signs between all that. So 220 plus 100 plus 432.5 on down the row. And so we get a grand total of 1,112.5. So that's our total canopy that we had from all the data that we collected. And so now what we have to do, that we have our total, and the, we'll just use bare soil as an example here. We take the canopy, um, the bare soil canopy, which was 220, and we're gonna divide that by the total that we had, which is the 1,112.5, okay? And so whenever you do that, you end up getting the 19.8%. And then if we did the same thing for the, um, if we did the same thing for our other woody species, we'd have 2.5, it's supposed to be a five there, 2.5 divided by 100, I mean 1,112.5, okay? And that gives us a 0.2%, so that's pretty small uh, part of the species composition, okay? So go ahead and pause once again, and then do the rest of the species composition uh, calculations, once again, that, that shouldn't be too awfully difficult, right? Okay, so let's, uh, you've paused for a while, so now let's move on. And this is our, these are the totals that we have. Okay, so um, now that you know how to do all this, the thing that I'm looking for whenever you're um, doing your actual calculations for first or for the uh, in-class um, simulation is I want this information right here. I want to see all of this stuff here. Okay. Obviously the tally, you need to have everything up above done, but this is the important information I need. And please be as meticulous as possible. Whenever you're doing your calculations, be very careful because this is uh, data that we're accumulating over the years to be able to make comparisons on some of the treatments that we're using on the plots. Okay. All right. Well, I hope that clarifies things and uh, that's it for this one. All right.